going to try and make this as uh, quick as possible. So first of all, the notebook that we're going to look at is going to be on the GitHub. There'll be a link to that somewhere, most likely on 5below5.uk. So guess what? Today, Stable Cascade was released. Isn't that amazing? As you can see, we've got some really cool images. All right. But I'm not going to waste your time. If you want to come here, it's literally just search for Stable Cascade. And as we can see, this is a revolutionary new approach, which produces awesome images. As you can see, look at that. That's pretty awesome, right? Anyway, point being, this is how they've done it. We are controlling stage C, but it's going to use B and then A. I think A would be the smallest one. I think it's like 124 by 124. It's pretty cool. Well, certainly that one is. Anyway. This one, I think I was using 700 million, uh, 3 billion, and then 3.6 billion. I've used the double large for this one. Um, I think it does mention all of that here. So, yeah. So, stage C comes with 1 billion and a 3.6. We've used the larger one. And then uh, da -da -da -da, stage B uses 700 or 1.5 billion. That's interesting because I could have sworn we're using a 3 billion version. Anyway, and stage A is 20, 20 million. So anyway, whatever. Uh, I remember looking in the configs and we can see them in a minute. So anyway, as we go on, so you can do text to image. You can do image to image. So there's no prompt. And then you can do image to image, uh, you know, with prompt. And so we get this. It's pretty cool. It runs really quick. First run took about 15, 20 minutes, but that's because it's running on diffusers as far as I'm aware. Uh, I haven't used the control net. I'm going to make a control net notebook next. Face identity has not actually been released yet, but I'll return to it when that happens. So here we go. Canny, super resolution and, and Laura's. I will try to find out how we're going to get Laura's running because I want to train some Laura's and see how they fare against the current techniques. Awesome. Anyway, image reconstruction looks pretty cool. I haven't tried that yet, but there are notebooks for everything. So what I'll do is I'll just do what I did to make mine work. See, these don't work. I'm sure they work if you put them in the correct environment. However, I'm running on Google Colab. So what I do is I actually adjust these to actually run on Google Colab and do things like saving the images to your Google Drive. So with that being said, we're going to take another seat. Got apparently some, we'll figure it out anyway. So anyway, the text to image works great. It's really quick. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. I always love the new the new stuff. The new stuff gets me going. Taking it from the top. Um, I've done a bit of experimentation. You got to use an A100. It runs out of memory. So we're going to run these first three and sign into Google where it asks us. And it's going to need restarting. I'll show you in just a second. So it's going to take a few minutes to download the Stability AI Stable Cascade Git. And once it's finished, it will actually ask us to restart. We'll restart and do the first again. Okay. And as you can see, here it is. Red stuff. Don't be afraid. Just click restart. Go straight back to the top and run everything again. All right. So now we're going to keep going down. Make sure we get everything. Stop at load models just to make sure that it actually does download them. All right. Now we've got all the models. We can continue. Keep going. Now, one thing that's important to note, when you get to the first area, I let a few people use it and they said that they couldn't use libcuda. Uh, so I put in this fix. You basically run this, if you have a problem that is, before the text to image. And even though it doesn't seem to do anything, that should help. You want to try it out, here it is with all the parameters exposed. So you can put your prompt in here. It is baked to a four batch, but it will split them when you save to your Google Drive. Okay. So I've put that, I've put a bit of script down the bottom, but here are all of your settings. This is the defaults. 
All right. And as I said, the first run is going to take a while. So while it's cooking, I'm going to just scroll down and show you the rest. So once every time we finish a batch, click save if you like the images. That'll put them into your temporary area of cascade output there. Now we're just going to continue. You can use a URL for the image variation. It's basically image to image with an empty prompt. You can see there's an empty prompt just here. But basically, I've got the parameters exposed for you for stage B and C. So you can have a little play around and see if you can uh, find some magic numbers. Um, here are my variations. And then the last one is the, uh, oh yeah, also remember, if you like the images, remember to save them because these are all just previews. If you like the previews, click save. They'll get put into the cascade. They have a, a prefix and a timestamp, so you won't overwrite anything. And then once you get to image to image, you can put in your image URL. Oh, it's not there. String. There we go. I'm going to push this version in a minute, basically, so we can play with it. But there you go. You put your URL for the image. It's going to make four copies. And then here's your prompt. There's the noise level, the other comp, the other configuration, that all the parameters are there. And then at the end, it's going to give you a 4,000 by 1,000 image. It's all together. And if we like them, we will save them. And then finally, at the very end, once you're done, because obviously you can change the prompt, change the image and uh, run it again. And then if you like them, save it again. And you can just keep on running each of these sections and saving the uh, images uh, underneath. And then at the very, very end, when you're finished, what you can do is you can use the final section to save the images and what they'll do is they will split them into 1024 by 1024 and then they will uh, put the, copy them all to google drive obviously you can make amendments and changes by copying this notebook and retooling it but essentially this is everything you need so with that i'm going to make some images and uh yeah as i say first time you run the uh text to image it is going to take about 15, 20 minutes. But after that, it's very fast, like 14 seconds. You get four images, so that's really quick. Um, I could only run it on the A100. It did not run on the the T4, uh, ran out of memory, and even the V100 with high RAM ran out of memory. So it doesn't look like that's an option yet, but it's day one. So like I said, I will pause, uh, and when I come back, I'll show you some of the images I've made. So yeah, before we check out the uh, images that we've created, what I would say is, on this, I'm going to do a little bit of a write-up, but right now, you just click Open in Colab, and that will take you through. So the latest version is all working... Uh, as described, all these parameters are working properly. Had a few bugs I had to fix, but yeah, here's some images. Okay, let's take a quick look at some of these pictures. So I've just downloaded all of the images that I made. And to be honest, using just standard, the standard default sort of settings, uh, we've made a couple of these sci-fi tankers. It also, I did that with the, uh, image to image that's text to image text to image more text to image these are pretty good i'm liking how they've come out a little bit strange this is one to one by the way right there there you go that's one to one so this is what you actually get you know we haven't tweaked the uh the parameters at all so i'm just going to scroll through these that's really nice There was no negative prompt as far as I could see it. Obviously, that's come out a bit weird. Yeah, well, that's pretty much all the images I've got, I think. Some of them came out better than others. But like I say... Oh, I like these. For, um, yes, we've got some weird artifacts coming out. That could just be the way I've saved the images. I don't know. 
uh, see these come out, but there's still these little artifacts. Like I said, it's it's early days, so there's probably going to be some like special settings. But this has got some promise. Yeah, that's a, that's weird. That image definitely didn't come out looking like that. So something's gone on there. But most of these are good. Right. So there it is. I'll probably keep working on it. Like I say, there's more notebooks. So thank you for watching. And I think I'll see you next time.